What are Terra stablecoins? In Mongolia, people buy goods and services with Tugrik. In Korea, the won. And of course, the US dollar in America. It's not so easy to do business in Korea with US dollars, or in the US with Mongolian Tugrik. But cryptocurrencies aren't any better. Prices are constantly going up or down against native currencies. Cryptocurrencies with stable prices called stablecoins are becoming popular. But most stablecoins are pegged to the US dollar, neglecting the rest of the world. Introducing Terra. The Terra protocol issues many stablecoins, each pegged to a country's currency. UST pegged to the USD, KRT to the Korean won, MNT to Mongolian Tugrik. And at any time, anyone can propose to mint new stable currencies, whether that be a stablecoin pegged to the Japanese yen, Indian rupee, or to the euro. Terra stablecoins are incredibly easy to spend. They can be sent anywhere instantly, with very low fees, and without bank limits. If you're a startup in San Francisco and need to work with a design shop in Korea, you swap UST for KRT and instantly send it over the Terra blockchain. That's it. No middlemen, no hidden costs. You can hold on to as much value and as many currencies as you want without anyone telling you what you can do or how much you can withdraw. It's really that simple. Terra is a family of programmable digital world currencies open for anyone to transact, save, or build on top of. How are Terra stablecoins used? Terra is a family of stablecoins, each pegged to a world currency. Why would anyone use, say, UST over USD? For one, it's easier to spend. Terra stablecoins can be sent anywhere in the world, denominated in any currency, with low fees, instantly. For this reason, many Korean retailers have integrated a payment application called Chai to accept payments in KRT, Korean won on the Terra blockchain. Korea's top 14 banks, number one convenience store, largest gaming publisher, and biggest bookstore, to name a few, have turned to accepting Korean won through the Terra blockchain. Today, over 2 million users spend over $1 billion every year using KRT to buy anything from coffee to furniture. In Mongolia, over 40,000 people every month are using Mongolian Tugrik on the Terra blockchain to buy goods using a payment application called MimiPay. Second, it's a much more attractive hold. No need to store your cash under your bed or in a black box controlled by bankers in suits. You can choose to hold your money or earn interest using decentralized applications like Anchor. Anchor is a savings protocol on Terra that leverages block rewards from major blockchains to power stable and attractive yields on UST. As more people from around the world build exciting financial products on Terra, and Terra stablecoins continue to integrate in all leading blockchains, we can begin to reimagine what we can truly do with our money. What is the Luna token? Terra is a family of stablecoins, each pegged to a world currency. UST to USD, KRT to Korean won, SDT to IMF special drawing rights, MNT to Mongolian Tugrik, and new stablecoins pegged to a different world currency can be minted anytime through a democratic vote. All of these stablecoins stay, well, stable, thanks to Terra's staking token, Luna. For every transaction of stablecoins, whether in UST, KRT, or any of Terra's world currencies, a small transaction fee is paid out to Luna stakeholders. Today, the total transaction fees collected on the Terra network exceeds all other blockchains aside from Bitcoin and Ethereum. As more and more people use Terra stablecoins for everyday use through payment applications, savings protocol, and other dApps and DeFi, Luna stakeholders earn more fees, making Luna more valuable. Luna stakeholders also sit in the driver's seat for Terra's decentralized economy, controlling the blockchain's governance, directly proposing and voting for changes in monetary policy, and even software upgrades. Luna enables a truly democratic economy, setting money free for billions worldwide.